Hello, some of you have asked me how you can compile your proposal into a single PDF consisting of all the different files that you might like to include. For example, your proposal itself, the, uh, any resumes that you might want to include, any articles that you want to include, and also your RFP if you're responding to one. So the example that I showed you at our last class meeting uh, did that just that. It's one PDF and as you can see it includes all of the sections of the proposal plus it includes some additional files like the resume and those appear in line with the proposal. Notice also that the articles and the resume are also included in the page numbering. So if we look at page 16 here, and we move back a couple of pages through the article, we're now at page 13. So um, this required some uh, thought and planning on my part before I put this PDF together. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that so that you can do that for your own projects if you desire to. This is not required, but I think this would be a good exercise for you um, because you will certainly use this information when you are uh, putting together proposals or other documents out in the workforce. Here's what you'll need to get started. You'll need a Mac or PC computer, and you will need a word processing program like Microsoft Word or Apple Pages. You'll also need some sort of uh, PDF manipulation software. And here's where the Mac has the advantage, uh, because the Mac platform has a preview built right into the system software. So out of the box, you already have this capability. If you're running Windows, uh, don't worry, you're not out of luck. You'll just have to download the trial version of Adobe Acrobat in order to manipulate your PDF file. So, let's start from the beginning. This is Microsoft Word, and as you can see, I have composed all of the sections of the proposal in Microsoft Word. If I go to view our uh, navigation sidebar, I can jump directly to the section that we want to look at. The first section being the resume section. The appendix has, uh, has a title and it has a label of Appendix A and some brief introductory text to inform the reader that what follows is a resume. And here's a blank page. I left space intentionally for the resume to occupy. Uh, there are two reasons for doing this. One, to remind me to insert the file later, but also so that Microsoft Word will count that page. Same thing with the related materials. I added two blank pages because I knew that the article that I wanted to insert was two pages long, and so this would advance the page numbering. Now, in order to get my document from Microsoft Word or from a word processing program, I need to go to File, Save As. In some word processing programs like Apple Pages, you may need to go to File Export uh, in order to get the option to save as a PDF. All the versions of Microsoft Word from version 2007 and later all support saving Word documents as PDF files. So this functionality is built right into Microsoft Word. When you select the file format, you may need to scroll down to find PDF. Select your location and save. I can quit Microsoft Word for now. So the file that was just created 
is formal proposal example.pdf. I can open that up in Adobe Reader. And if we scroll through, we want to make sure that all of our pages appear as we expect, that our headings are on the appropriate page, it's not on the bottom of the preceding page. We make sure our charts and our graphs appear correctly. And then when we get to the appendix, we see that we have our inserted pages. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this on the Mac first. This is the point where we need to insert the files. Uh, and so to do that, I'm actually going to close this document in Acrobat because I want to show you how to do this using um, Preview, which is available for free on the Mac. I'm going to right-click my PDF, and I'm going to select Open With, and select Preview as the application. And this is Apple's default um, PDF viewer, unless uh, you're like me and you've already selected Acrobat to be your default viewer. I want to click on the View menu here, and I want to show the thumbnails. And the thumbnails basically show a preview of each of the PDF pages. Now what I want to do is I want to locate the pages that I need to replace. In this case, we have Appendix A, our resume section. So I need to replace this page. I'm going to replace page 15. I have my resume file saved on my desktop, and I'm just going to drag that resume file from the desktop into the sidebar where I want to place it, and I'm going to drop it. So now when we move from page 14 to page 15, our resume is in place. I no longer need this placeholder, so I can click it press the delete key on my keyboard, and it goes away. I'm going to perform a similar set of steps for the related materials section. I have my article saved on my desktop. Once again, I'm going to drag it just behind page 17 because I want it to appear here. I'm going to release, and those pages are now added to my PDF. I no longer need my placeholder pages, so I can delete those by selecting them and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Finally, the last thing I want to do is add my RFP. And this is going to appear at the very end of my proposal. It's the last thing that's required. And I'm going to drop the RFP PDF right after the Appendix E page that describes that what follows is the RFP. And I'm finished. My PDF is now ready to save. I can save it. I can quit preview. And if I open it up in Adobe Reader and we jump to page 15, we'll see that that is the resume. We advance a couple of pages to Appendix C. We see that the article is there. And if we go all the way to the end, we see that page 22 and on is the RFP. So I've just described how to compile the PDF in, on a Mac. If you're running Windows, unfortunately, Microsoft has not uh, included a, uh, a program that you can use to manipulate PDF files. So you will need to download a third-party uh, piece of software. I suggest going to uh, Google and searching for Acrobat Trial. And look for the link that is from Adobe. You want to look for adobe.com. 
And this is the page that you want to go to to try um, the Adobe software. And there's a link for a free trial up at the top. Follow the instructions to download the software. Since I already have Adobe uh, Acrobat, I'm going to quit Firefox. Your version of Adobe Acrobat might look slightly different than this, but the instructions should be the same. I have a proposal example saved, a, a PDF saved. And if we go to page 15, you can see that there's nothing up my sleeve. This is where the resume goes. Click the Tools menu and click Replace. Select the file that you would like to, uh, that contains the pages that you want to insert, and click Select. It's going to ask you which pages you want to replace. In this case, the resume PDF only has one page in it, so there, there are no options I need to select here. I'm already on page 15. I'm going to replace page 15 with page 1 of 1 of the resume PDF, and I'll click OK. Yes, I am sure. And we see that Acrobat has replaced our placeholder page with the PDF. If we move on to related materials, this is where we want to insert our article. Click Replace again. Select your article file. In this case, I want to replace page 18 and 19 with page 1 to 2 of 2 and click OK. Confirm that you want to replace and we see that both pages of the article are inserted right before index, uh, I'm sorry, Appendix D. The last thing we need to do is we need to add our RFP. This is, since this is the last page of the PDF, I'm not replacing pages this time, but rather I'm inserting pages. So we need to actually select a different function this time. Click Insert from File. Select your RFP. Click Select. Select your location. In this case, I want the location, I want to insert this file after the last page of my current PDF and click OK. So we're still on Appendix E, the title for uh, requesting request for proposals. And Acrobat has added all the pages from the request for proposals to the end of the PDF. And we can see that in our navigation panel here. We can see that the proposals, the PDF is now 32 pages long. When you're all finished, click File, Save. So now I've shown you two different ways to compile your uh, PDF proposals. Uh, this should make uploading your files to Beachboard easier. It'll also make it easier for me to review your files if I don't have to sort through multiple PDFs or multiple Word documents and PDFs. Um, I think this would be easier for everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, and I look forward to reading your proposals.